So what's up YouTube? It's me again. Um, I'm slightly gobsmacked this morning. I, I, I got up and had a potter around the house, tidying up and whatnot on my day off. And then I happened across a, um, a story in the headlines from some award ceremony that have absolutely no interest in at all. Because it's just a group of people patting each other on the back for being... Super excellent, uh, very rich, and very preachy, all because they can pretend to be other people and tell us stories, which somehow makes them much superior to us and above the law. Well, as you can see in the background, there's a, I found this article by Dan Wooten from the Mail Online, and it reads, Oscar's standing ovation for Will Smith minutes after he physically assaulted Chris Rock. Yes, you heard it right, folks. Will Smith physically assaults Chris Rock on stage in front of hundreds of people and in front of probably hundreds of people watching at home and then went on to win the, the Best Actor Male Lead Award later in the night. It's just... I'm flabbergasted to be to be fair. Just the hypocrisy of Hollywood right now. Let me just read a little bit of this article. For the first 147 minutes of the most effed up Oscars ceremony in history, the fast dwindling millions of viewers were treated to a smorgasbord of preaching about politically correct causes and takedowns of everything that the left so despise about America today. And it goes on. Now there's a there's an uncensored version of what happened last night. Uh, there's a lot of censored versions kicking around because the language that came out of Will Smith's mouth was was quite profane. Let's say. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. Okay. But then Will Smith slapped Chris Rock in the face for making a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith beautifully bald at the ceremony after revealing her battle with alopecia. He mentioned about her starring in the G.I. Jane 2. You probably know it was Demi Moore's role where she shaved her head and joined the army. Personally, a little bit below the belt, uh, alopecia is, is, is quite an affliction, and especially if it's going to affect women, going to knock your confidence, and when somebody's going to make a joke in front of, like I said, hundreds of people, it's not the nicest thing to... to to be subjected to. However, uh, Jada's husband, Will Smith, reacted quite explosively. As you can see there, a photo of what actually happened. Now, everyone thought that it was just a joke and a prank for the first few seconds after it had occurred. And then Will Smith comes out with this. I'll show you a clip. Here, yeah. uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty rough stuff. Now, I'll show you a clip of what Chris Rock had actually said. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> now, people were saying that this was a prank or a skit or just a joke. Take a look at Chris Rock's face. Check wow, out his dude. body language. There's no way that that guy was on the end of a joke or a skit. That is genuine confusion as to what is going on. <laughs> well, and what know. just okay. happened and the guy doesn't know where to put his face was, uh, or what to say next that was uh, so no this is not a skit. In the of okay. it's the most fucking mental thing i've ever seen yeah he made a joke about his wife but to conduct yourself in such a way as this it's just not on folks i'm sorry then he went on to receive an award an oscar for his lead role in uh, king richard To love people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to protect people. Bring that shit. Oh, wow. And to be a river to my people. Tell them how it is, Will. And you gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that's okay. <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. And, and an apology. Here it is. I wanna apologize to the Academy. I wanna apologize to my all my fellow. <laughs> The Academy put out a statement on Twitter, the, the, the greatest platform in the world, 
and it said this. The Academy does not condone violence of any form. Okay, violence of any form. Did you get me? And then they said, tonight we're delighted to celebrate our 94th Academy Awards winners who deserve this moment of recognition from their peers and movie lovers around the world for being fantastic and delicious. Seriously, it's the most hypocritical thing I've ever heard. We do not condone violence unless it's Will Smith slapping someone. I just wonder what would happen if, uh, say, Bradley Cooper had got up and slapped Chris Rock in the face or Tom Hanks. I think you know what I'm getting at and I think you know what I'm saying. I think it would have been a very different story. There you go, Will. Have yourself a nice award for being great. You're an upstanding member of the community and you're in our hearts forever. Keep my wife's name out your fucking What a load of bullshit. Anyway, I just felt that I had to cover this story because I could not believe what I was seeing right in front of my eyes. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Do you think he was right to attack Chris Rock and defend his wife? Who, incidentally, both of them have been linked to infidelity within their marriages, having said at some point that they had an open marriage, and then denying it, and then confirming it, and then denying it. Just a quick look at a story in The Guardian. Will Smith not facing charges for slapping Chris Rock, says LAPD. Well, there's no real surprise there. Is this just Hollywood stepping way out of line again? Okay, folks, please don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, subscribe if you like, and above all else, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Bye. Bye.